Hey, what's up guys? Hi everyone! So today it's the part 2, it's the flight review uh, for the Snipe. And uh, I can tell you, uh, so it's still the same day, the 20th of April, uh, so my birthday, and um, it's warm, it's something like 26 degrees Celsius, and uh, it's really no wind, not at all. So thermals are super calm, and I will show you how this glider fly. So I remember you, my CG is 66 millimeters. Um, my uh, it's a short nose and it weighed 229 grams. Oh, thermal is there, just in front of me. Perfect. So it will really show you how calm this glider is in turns, but how sensitive is it um, it is at um, aerology around so it will show you really well what's happened but in your control it will be really really soft and easy to do so I hope I film it well because it's beautiful Woo! so you see how smooth it is even if you are ne near to stall uh, it's still really smooth and it's so easy in turns just the the rudder is so sharp that you can just put a bit of rudder and it's it's so easy so easy in turns Here I have near to no inputs, it's it's just near to flying by itself. It's really easy to control and yeah, I like it a lot. Yeah, I know I like every glider. <laughs> but it's so hard to don't like a glider, it flies so well. So Yes, as you can see, I'm now around 35 meters, something like this. And I just launched around 20, so I climbed in it. Because the glider is a bit close, I hope my camera is at the good angle and all these things because it will be a real pain in the butt if I didn't get a good video about that. And yeah, if you, if you want, I can compare this glider a bit to the Vortex 3 because uh, it's nearly the same. Really, in flight, uh, it's the, the Vortex 3 is a bit more smoother. Uh, a bit less sharp, but it's even more locked in the air. It's a bit less sensitive to the air around it. And uh, it's not a bad thing, because the snipe is near to be too much sensitive. Sometimes uh, you just try to turn and you can't, because the thermal is a bit stronger than you think. And uh, it's not that easy sometimes. But I like it a lot for this. You can turn easily and just keep going, keep going, keep going. I was in good air, so <laughs> I can keep going. But yes, I, I, I like a lot uh, the, the fact this glider is still smooth but is sharp in input. So, yes, uh, it's, it's good. So, I did near to 4 minutes with 20, 20 meters launch. I think it's not bad. <laughs> and the weather is not with violent thermal. And the elevator is just so good, like a top mounted elevator, but even better for um, go down. So 
for nose diving and the air brakes are good but this depends a lot to your servo settings so for elevator I need to touch the boom and not a lot to the down movement, down travel but it's way enough <laughs> Uh, I will launch a bit harder now and I'm already around 70 meters but I didn't launch that hard and I will show you the speed mode In turn, it's normal that it's a bit draggy, it's because of the snap flap. But um, in speed, it's really not draggy at all for a 5 years old rider. So this one is not 5 years old, but the snipe, the model, is 5 years old. So it's crazy how oh, an old glider like this is still performing as good as brand new gliders. Okay, a bit better launch, and that's way up high. Maybe I'm a bit far away now to thermal for you, not for me. For me, it's still really close, but uh, with the camera, sometimes it looks really far. And as you can tell with this paint, it's so easy to see. Look at that. Look how easy it is it to see. So, yes, a good one. Um, I will launch again re pretty low, around 20 meters again, and uh, try to catch the thermal one more time. So I will do just the side arm launch. Around 15 meters, maybe 20, a bit lower. And maybe this side not know. I feel something but maybe it was just the wind passing on me. Oh yeah definitely here. Did you see the movement of the wing? Woo! I told you the, the wing is super sensitive. It's way more sensitive than the fuselage uh, but it's still manageable. Come on! Ah, I'm in the sink. Okay, we'll come back and try again. And this glider can come back really well. Fleet 2 was really impressive, but um, it's really one super good average glider, uh, like the Vortex 3, and at launch it's a bit beast, uh, like the Vortex 3 too. So. I really like these two gliders. Now let's try to catch this thermal. Yes, this time it's good. So you see how smooth it is in the turns. This is what I like and if you want to you can just put so much input on the rudder and just turn really tight on the tip. So this thermal is too weak to do that but this glider can handle it and it's what I like. Uh, I like the glider who can return on the tips without any chance of stall. So good glider. So I think that's a bit it about the flight review. So I will leave you on some good launch, good slow-mo clips. And that's it for me for today. Thank you a lot for watching and see you next time.
love is strangers Believe me when I say Loving me is love in danger Your heart is bound to break I walk alone in the night Beneath the pale moon Loving's for the fools Baby, beware of my mind I'm alone, I'm alone, I'm a, I'm a lone wolf I'm a lone wolf I'm a lone wolf I'm a, I'm a, 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 I'm